I got a couple of guests right here uh, from just down the road where she is the owner and, and uh, controlling owner and president of the Los Angeles Lakers. Now also owner of WOW, Women of Wrestling and the executive producer of the broadcast, along with the founder and CEO of WOW, Women of Wrestling, David McLean, right here on The Rich Eisen Show. Good to see you, Jeannie and David. How are you guys doing? Fantastic. Thanks for having us. Of course. Yes. Absolutely. Let's just jump right into this here because... The uh, WOW Women of Wrestling franchise returned in 2022 with a partnership with Paramount Global Content Distribution. How did you get involved in all of this, Jeannie Buss? You know, I've been around sports almost 40 years. Yes, I've heard of that. And I I knew (laughs) that, um, you know, people would ask me, you know, how I'm investing in women's sports. And I really, you know, what's happening in women's sports right now is it's really finely blossoming and and. There are so many great female athletes because of Title IX. And, you know, unless you're going into the WNBA or a professional golfer, yes. there's not a lot of places for all these great athletes to have a platform to show, you know, their years of dedication of, you know, playing field hockey or volleyball at a collegiate level. And, um, you know, we train them. And uh, it's just an opportunity for them to show off their talent, um, earn some money, and, you know, hopefully we'll find the next, you know, Dwayne The Rock Johnson, you know, give them an opportunity to to shine like they do. And then go from there after all of that, as obviously there's been a lot of go from there for, for Dwayne <laughs> since that. So, um, David, you've been on the ground floor, though, of... yes. As right, you know, so Rich, going I, back to glow, right? Oh, Before, yeah, I grew wow. up in wrestling, and then I was fortunate enough to think women needed a stage back mm-hmm. in the 80s, and I founded Glow, Gorgeous Ladies of Wrestling, and um, that had a great run of four years in syndication. And then Jeannie and I actually met when we were doing roller hockey back in the early 90s and, and have been friends since. And Jeannie came to one of the WOW wrestling matches right over at the Great Western Forum. Mm-hmm. She said, I'll only be there for five minutes, David, only five, and then I'm leaving. I'll let her tell you why. (laughs) And so at one in the morning when I'm walking down through the forum locker rooms, I see Jeannie still there with some of the wrestlers, and she ran out to say, how do I get involved in this? This is great. You've really created something. These girls are like real-life female superheroes. And that became the tagline for branding the talent as wow superheroes yeah and they're real life superheroes so you're branding when you're not even trying to brand it, exactly saying, well, it's, 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 it's like let me jump in here because i thought when he he had said women's wrestling i thought it was mud wrestling or jello wrestling and it would be something like stripes really, like you're talking about the movie stripes is that what you're saying? something very sleazy and so i was like oh gosh i you know i used every excuse but once i saw it because i was a kid that collected comic books mm-hmm. and so um you know i would be the one that would tie a towel around my neck and pretend to be supergirl and that's what these girls get to do that it's character driven larger than life you know, good versus evil, but it's about female empowerment and it's about women fighting their own battles against each other instead of running to a man to save them. And, you know, maybe their opinions might be misguided, but they're willing to stand up for what they believe in and they're passionate about it. And I think that's an important message for young women to hear. And something unique, Rich, is Mm -hmm. when we did you know, glow when we started. Yes. Not that athletic. And athleticism through Title IX now, I've really seen the transformation over years of what female athletes have become. And the performers in WOW that are our superheroes now are so athletic. And Jeannie knew something else. Not only did she accidentally brand Mm -hmm. the superheroes, she knew immediately she said, David, you're going to start to see as you develop your own talent, women that come directly from sports, from college Mm -hmm. that want to get into this. And I said, really? She said, oh yes, because they don't have, they have a limited space, a limited footprint where to go. And sure enough today in WOW Women of Wrestling, which any of your viewers can check their local listings and see, 
in all of their markets across the country, there are Division I performers in WOW. Everything from Division I divers, weightlifters, softball, um, the tennis team, et cetera. And they've come from college and gotten back into sports through wrestling. It's very interesting. And Jeannie saw that way before I ever thought it would happen. And when was this night at the, the forum? When was this? That, that was way back. You well, know, I mean, you said Great Eons. Western Forum. Yes, so, I mean, exactly. That, that, that long we ago. started, it went into syndication in the 2000s. Mm -hmm. Then we took a break. And Jeannie thought around 2015, um, I was working with ESPN for several years. She says, David, we've got to reboot Wow Women Are Wrestling. The timing's right. So we started it. It aired on a, a cable station for a while. Then COVID hit, and we were fortunate enough to pick up our global distribution footprint now, which is the largest in the history of wrestling through a partnership with Paramount. And um, it's it's groundbreaking. I, as you noted earlier, I've been in wrestling a long time. Yes. And... We never had the footprint to always continue the storylines, to continue the building up of who the stars are. And now Paramount has provided us that footprint. So in every market in the United States, for the first, Glow wasn't on it except in 100 plus markets, and everyone knows the brand. Mm -hmm. um, women's wrestling's on in every market in the U.S., and it's now on globally. Wow, women of wrestling can be caught in weekend syndication, um, which is that's old school right there. Like that's we went old, old school because wrestling right. migrated to cable, and um, you know the brains to be said, hold it. There's a great opportunity right. to go old school Saturday morning, Saturday afternoons, late night weekend. And what was very interesting is it's very rare in syndication today. It's original programming. 52 weeks out of the year original programming so it's on it's groundbreaking on many levels and we appeal to families you know men and women and um you, you know I, i'm a business person and mm -hmm. wrestling has is has been a lucrative business and has lasted many many decades through many different platforms and so I wanted something that would be lasting. I've been asked to invest in a lot of other women's sports, but I, I couldn't see where it could sustain itself. I want something that that you know will be you know will be around even after I'm not. Jeannie Buss and David McLean here on the Rich Eisen Show, the owner and um, also executive producer, founder and CEO, respectively, of Wow Women of Wrestling. Um, David, what does it mean to have Jeannie involved? What oh, everything. Because in my, you know, glow and, and my steps to get women's wrestling seen, I never had the right partner or anyone. And I don't mean partner just in terms of financial support, vision support. Jeannie lends so much in terms of vision, as I noted, from branding to seeing the vision of women coming from college sports to wrestling. It means everything. Um I don't mean, Any, by the way, to have you talked about like you're not sitting in between no, us right now. But I any, apologize but it, for that. But anyone, uh, I tell everyone and anyone, um, really, Jeannie, by adding her voice to women's wrestling, gave it the platform that it now has. It wouldn't be here without her. Well, I think in order for women's sports to really become successful, it takes people like me to invest their own money. This isn't Laker money, this is my money. Mm -hmm. And, you know, to really invest and give women opportunities that, you know, that are few and far between in the sports industry. Did uh, did uh, Glow ever show up in the forum back in the day? Back no, in the, it no. Was, never did, it was huh? based we in Las in Vegas. Vegas. And then of course, a lot of a new generation of fans know what Glow is because of the Netflix Yes. Uh, a scripted series that, um, 
you know, may or may not have been completely accurate. No, it wasn't totally accurate. <laughs> Rich, I did not have a little machine bringing me drugs in my suite at the Riviera. You did not, you did not make a note of that. <laughs> <laughs> you did not have that happen. Okay. All right. My, my vice was the uh, ice cream uh, Katie's uh, 12 o'clock. Yeah, but you can't make it, a TV show out of that. I know. Hey, come on. You, you know. <laughs> tell, tell them about some of the, the great characters we have, like the Beast. Oh, yeah, yes. It. Anyone watching Wow. Wow's got to, uh, she's a specimen, the beast, a natural athlete. Um, we've got um, Candy Crush, Foxy Fierce. Her sister's going to be joining us in the, sh in the season coming up. Um, the athletic performances of the Tonga twins, um, the Carlson twins. We have three sets of twins in Wow. And I'll mention the Carlson twins. They were Division I basketball players, and, and they were in Nebraska. So from their education and schooling, they went into occupational therapy and started their own business. Their dad is their CFO and manages the money and they have offices in Florida. And so here are two women that came from college division one basketball, starting their own profession. And they just wanted to get back into sports. And they found a wrestling school down in Florida and went and joined it and they were hooked like that. And I saw them through social media and called them up and said, hey, I see you guys are into professional wrestling, you're professionals in business. Yeah. Would you wanna join the WOW Women of Wrestling? They flew out here, left their business to their dad to run for a while and they got in a hotel and they went into the WOW training school for over four months and to perfected their wrestling. And um, that's the type of athletes we have now. And we have a, a mother and daughter. Oh, yes. Holly Swag and her and her um, mother. Please they, tell me they're, they are going to be wrestling on Mother's Day, right? I mean, oh, like, yeah. We gotta have, we gotta I don't know that falls on I don't mean to take the branding wheel here for a second, Jeannie, but I mean, that's got to be, you got to have that. Big right? Rig Betty. They're truck drivers. They're from Kentucky. Or no, Tennessee. They're from Tennessee. Excuse me. They live in Kentucky. And they now. really are. She's really a truck driver. And, really? You know, in real life. And I love that. <laughs> Big Rig Betty. And of Holly course, swag. And of course, there's Americana, who mm -hmm. is a single mother. And um, you I got I got to interrupt you there. On Americana, she lives in San Diego. She tried out for WWE years ago yeah. on their Tough Enough. And she found out she was pregnant. And she had her son and has been raising him as a single mom. The son's now six. And so she came up for the wild tryouts and they're held here in LA. And we've got a brand new training center we're opening up here on off the 405 at HHLA um, in about a month or so. And she would drive every day, Rich, from San Diego up to LA, the valley, the valley. <laughs> I don't it's even a, go there from down here. I know it. Come on. And she would train two to three hours a day to become a wrestler, and she's in WOW Women of Wrestling now. So I love again, stories like that. I mean, that, that's, that's, that's the good stuff. I mean, that's the underpinnings of what you guys obviously trying to build. You're trying to build narratives. You're trying to build stars. You're trying to build audience. You're trying to build recognition. And I'm thrilled that you're you know stopping by here, that I can be part of that. So what – Jeannie Buss is your vision of like, what is the ultimate success that you view here that you, you want this to? You know, just an ongoing um, a place for, for women athletes to, to show after the years of dedication and, and, and competing in whatever sport, that here's a place where you can perform in front of your friends and family and maybe, you know, take that next step in, and become a, a media star like Dwayne The Rock Johnson. And obviously, everybody's got, I'm sure, TikTok pages, and everybody's yeah. settled up with with Instagram pages and things like it's, that. It's starting. Right. We're day, you know, no pun intended. Mm -hmm. It's Jeannie and David, not just David. Mm -hmm. Jeannie and David versus Goliath. Nice. There, there's so many sports out there. There's yes. so many stations. Everyone's got to find their niche. We offer an alternative to the existing wrestling programs that are out there today. Um, We've got something for the moms that no other program has in their daughters, because we're 24 seven, our DNA is women 24 seven, and there's no other wrestling program with that. But literally, um, we're starting this thing really because we're doing homegrown talent. 
There's new characters. It's just starting, and we hope people check their local listings and tune into it. And where are the locations? All the events events are taped here in Los Angeles, downtown L.A. All right. So if people are in town, they can. Where, where can they go to check this thing out or, or get tickets or anything the new, like that? Well, we finished. I'm letting the cat out sure. of the bag a little. Okay. <laughs> most the events for season one, most of them have all been taped. Got it. And season two will be coming up okay. shortly in the new year. All right. Yeah, just check out the website, and we, you know, we we love to have a studio audience. Okay. You want yes. people there and get going. And mm-hmm. l- one last thing. If if there are people who are watching this saying, I can do that. I want to do that. I want to get involved. I want to be the next mother-daughter team or what have you. Oh, um, yes. Uh, please just go to WOWE.com, Wowie.com. There'll be a place there to hit and, and communicate with us. Okay. We will get it. It'll be brought to us. And um, we are doing tryouts this fall okay. here in L.A. And... Um, our last ones we were going to do were postponed. They were going to be in Miami, and COVID hit us, and we couldn't um, do that. But the next ones will be here in L.A., and we encourage that. How many people tried out the last time? Oh, over 800 submissions, Rich. Over 800 oh. submissions. Well, let's put a zero on the end of that. You know, wow. That's like our, that, 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 hey, <laughs> wow is right. I, like I, I am mandated to ask you what your dad would think of this. What would your dad he think He would be this? so proud of me because, you know, he... I grew up doing roller hockey, tennis, volleyball, indoor soccer, whatever yeah. could, you know, event that we could come up with. Yeah. And so he would be proud that I'm I'm using my background in creating uh, events and giving women opportunities because he empowered me. And I can't tell you how much that means when when your father tells you and believes in you. Mm. Um, what that can do for a, a young lady. So that that's always my advice to girl dads. Okay. Fantastic. Well, I'm one of them. I'm one of them. You know, I'm, I'm, and I'm, I'm going to, I'll show her this and I'll check it out. And everybody should check this out. Again, a new season of WOW premiered in September. Check your local listings uh, currently airing in weekend syndication. And you can find classic episodes of WOW Women of Wrestling on CWC and Pluto TV platforms at WOW Superheroes and WOWE.com if you want to get Possibly in on the act yourself. get in and yeah, try in. out. Yeah, I mean, although, I mean, I just heard the words titanium suitcase, you know. I gotta, <laughs> you know, you know, I don't hear that thrown about too often. And but don't trust the lawyers. Don't trust the lawyers. <laughs> I've heard that one too. Uh, David McLean, thank you so much. Jeannie Buss, thanks again. Really thank appreciate you. that. Right here on The Rich Eisen Show.